I'm Matthew Warnkin. I'm Managing Director of AgriProve. Soil carbon farming involves taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere where it's a problem and storing it in soils where it's an asset for farmers and also for the environment. Building soil carbon not only improves farm productivity but also offers a valuable source of off-farm income through carbon credits. So to help farmers get started, AgriProve is running a seven-part webinar series on how to build soil carbon. Declan McDonald is a highly regarded soil scientist, expert in regenerative agriculture. He'll be there running us through the science of how to build soil carbon, as well as answering any of those questions you might have about how to put those principles into practice in your own farming system. We do hope that you join us in February for this webinar series. Soil carbon is part of soil organic matter. So we tend to talk about the two interchangeably. But soil organic matter is basically anything that has ever lived and is now in the process of decomposing in the soil. Now, when it decomposes in the soil, it's feeding millions and millions and billions of organisms that are working to sustain health in the soil. They're building structure in the soil. So the structure is what allows air and water to move freely into the soil. Uh, it allows roots to move freely in the soil. And this structure is really critically important for plant health. Now, if we drive a 30 ton piece of machinery over the top of the soil and we compact the soil, what we're doing is we're destroying that ventilation and drainage system. Also, when we overuse fertilizers, we say to the soil organisms, we don't need you to supply nutrients to this plant because it's raining nitrogen or it's raining phosphorus after we apply a fertilizer. And so, so many of those workers become redundant and they don't then contribute to maintaining the house, maintaining soil structure. So we tend to have a negative downward spiral in soil condition when we till and we overuse fertilizers. This might mean using less of the fertilizers that we've traditionally used, or it might mean selecting different fertilizers altogether, different formulations, applying them differently. These are strategies that we can use to reduce the overall load on the soil, but also to save costs uh, on the amount of inputs that we require to deliver the production that we're after. So building organic matter is critically important for future resilience in the face of climate variability and climate extremes. Organic matter does many, many things in the soil, but primarily it holds huge amounts of water. It holds huge amounts of nutrients. It influences chemical, physical and biological properties of soil. It really is the cornerstone of soil health. So over the seven week webinar series, I'll take you on a journey down the soil carbon pathway. We'll talk about the concepts, the science and the practices involved in building soil carbon. And this will allow you to build soil carbon on your own farm. So how to build topsoil, all run by a top bloke. We do hope that you're able to join us in February for this webinar series.